Dr. View in the building. What's up with it? What it do, man? How you doing? Doing good, doing great. It's, it's, it's a new setting for us, huh? Because last, yeah. way back when, yeah, I interviewed man. you way on the juice. Yeah, you growing just, up, man. Elevate. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. So you received a trailblazer award. And trailblazer basically means a person who blazes a trail for others to follow through. You feel like that's that's the award that you needed to get out of everybody? Yeah, that's, that's my purpose, man. That's, that's what I'm you going, do. I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to do. Because you, you're a DJ, producer, a professor. How do you, how do you handle everything? Oh, uh, man, I just... I write the vision down, I make it plain, and, and I just go for it. And I do it, I do it in the community, man. Just it ain't never really about me. It's just about the next generation to inspire, man, and, and encourage people to do exactly what they want to do in life. And I chose, yeah, I want to DJ, I want to produce, and I want to be a professor. Might as well. I, I named it, and, and I went for it. So that's is that kind of how it, how you got the name Doctor View? Because you. So, so Dr. View, the doctor comes from, you know, the PhD, but yeah. the view comes from my hometown. So I'm from Longview, Texas, and we call it the view for short. So it's okay. kind of like a spinoff of, like, you know, never forget where you come from. Yeah. But also, like, producer, the Dr. Dre. Yeah. It's just like a, a new elevation towards, like, the, the culture. Okay, so what, what you got a PhD in? Uh, PhD is in um, higher education administration. Ooh. So I was, I was looking at, you know, particularly Ooh. black males. Yeah. Like those uh, have the lowest retention and graduation rates in college. Mm -hmm. So I was like, how can I leverage creating new opportunities for them but through like a hip hop lens? So I merged, you know, my worlds of hip hop and education to, to make that happen. Yeah, yeah so with your PhD is that what like seven years of school or how? Man, I did it in four. Woo! <laughs> yeah. You the real deal. Man. I appreciate it, bro. You the real deal. Appreciate it. So with that PhD, is that kinda how you got that job with at Ohio State or how did that how did that come about? No, nah, it was crazy. I, I finished my PhD in twenty nineteen and then I couldn't I couldn't get a professor job yeah. out the gate. So I kinda had to pivot. So I finished at OU and uh started working at the Woody Guthrie Center in Tulsa. So I moved to the town in twenty nineteen and I was like, man, Centennial's coming up, like I'm big on history, I'm big on, you know, developing albums, projects that commemorate like real life you know, lived experiences. Yeah. So I was like, yo, like I knew Steph. I've been DJing since two thousand nine. Mm -hmm. And so people knew me as DJ View, but like, what is this new Doctor View? Like yeah. persona, like you working at the Woody Guthrie Center now, what that's about. And so I really had to like humble myself. And like, you know, regardless of the accolades, I was like, yo, like, I'm coming here, coming to the town because I wanna amplify like the story of Black Wall Street. And so Actually, the, the Ohio State job came out of the work of Fire Little Africa. So, you know, we did you know, the project. Yeah. 60 artists, you know, got the Motown deal. Yeah, still got that poster. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. And uh, then, you know, certain situations happened with the project that kind of made me, like, reconfigure, like, how I want to move, you know, post-centennial, post-project, you know, release. Mm -hmm. And uh, somebody just tagged me on Twitter about the Ohio State job. Yo, I think it would be perfect for it. So I, I looked into it, and it's a it's a literally a hip hop professor job. Yeah. Like, and so I'm I'm teaching hip hop production, songwriting, um, music business, yeah. and uh, you can't really beat that. Okay. Can't really beat that. So yeah, it's just. But I what I what I'll say is from a trailblazer perspective, it, it really was like I wasn't gonna allow anybody to dictate how my story was going to be told and what I want to do in life. So, you know, Ohio State just came out of me just being obedient to, like, my own purpose. Yeah. And now we're here. Now we're here. Yeah. You said you did. You, you finished college in four years. You spent all four years at OU? Or? So I did I did three degrees at OU. Um, my first degree, my bachelor's, I did it in four years, bachelor of science and health and exercise science. And then I went right into a master's program, finished that in two. And then I took two years off. Started a PhD program in 2015, finished that in four, yeah. and uh, now we're here. Yeah. And you was y'all was just at Harvard not too long ago. <laughs> that was I was just watching on Instagram like, man, they really all the way like across yeah. the country. It's like, what was that like? It was cool, man. I was I was there for uh, you know Harvard has a Nasir Jones Hip Hop Fellowship named after Nas, yeah. and uh, I applied for it on behalf of Final World Africa. And uh, <laughs> I don't know, just in my spirit, I was like, man. You would be surprised in the 10 year of the program, they never had a hip hop performance. Wow. And so I was like, and it was another thing like, you know, I didn't create Fire Little Africa by, my, 
So yeah, like it was sixty plus people, like mm -hmm. you know, recording artists, producers, engineers, photographers, videographers, graphic designers. Oh, it's the whole thing. It was like, yeah. what what type of person would I be to to go out to Harvard and just get the shine for myself? Exactly. But in reality, like we did that together. So fundraised the money, brought I think fifty five people. Everybody flew, um, everything paid for. Went out there, did a show on the campus, which was never been done before. Yes. Like, never. And uh, yeah, it was just a dope experience. And it, it made everybody kind of reconfigure, like, what does a non traditional tour look like? To where, like, you know, instead of going to a House of Blues, it's like, bro, we can go to these different institutions or museums and uh, really show our work and get paid to do it. So. Yeah, dope experience, man, and uh, it's actually going to be a part of a docu-series at the, the Open Winfrey Network picking up, so oh, okay. yeah, I'm excited, man. Super cool. Yeah. Okay, so like, what does a regular day for you look like? I know <laughs> I know you do you do a whole lot, so like, what's just like an ordinary Tuesday for you just wake up and get? I, I get up early, and I got another another boy, I got a six-year-old, I got a yeah. two-week-old son, and uh that's my priority. So I wake up early just to get myself together, you know, yeah. meditation, devotional, just the time for myself. And uh, then I get to the kids. You know, I take my son to school or take him to summer camp, um, drop him off. And uh, we say every morning, you know, I can, I will. Smart, I'm kind, I'm love, I'm black, you know. Get him in the right mindset. And then I get to the crib. And I'm, if I'm not doing any business negotiations, like I'm creating. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm making mixes, I'm practicing, I'm, I'm producing, um, I'm, I'm collaborating with folks, like creating new ideas for, for projects. Um, and then I pick my kids up from school and then I'm spending time with the fam. So like, I, it, it really is, I wouldn't say my life is boring, but it's, oh, yeah. it's, it's more just like, I'm very disciplined with the stuff I do. And, you know, obviously serving, that's a part of that too, so pulling up, whether it's the Juice Radio yeah. or it's, you know, 105, yeah. Right here, just, just showing love and just giving back to the people who always show me love. Yeah, absolutely. So now it's just kind of a routine now. So routine. what, to a regular person, I'm like, look, it might look like you're doing a lot, but it's you, it's just like, all right, yeah. just keep moving. Absolutely, absolutely, for sure. Okay, so outside of, you know, the production and the mixing and the community stuff, what do you like to do, like, in your free time? Do you like any sports? Do you like watching you play any games or what's Man, up? I'm a... Uh, I still got my PlayStation 2. Ooh, the 2. Um, I'm a big, like, boxing head. I love Fight Night Round 2. So anybody can get it. Like, right. can't nobody that's, touch me on the Fight Night. That's, that's an open invite. That's it is an open invite. But yeah, I'm, you know, PS2 is one of the most important consoles that I ever had. So that's just me just staying connected to my inner child. Um, man, I love to sleep when yeah. I can, man. Um, I also just love reading. I love reading just just to explore new ideas, man. I'm trying to liberate myself. I'm trying to liberate, you know, my people. So the only way I can do that is gain more knowledge, ask more questions, um, and just spend time with the fam, man.